goes down and the moon glows bright, when the light of day becomes the dark of night, where the zombies moan and the monsters growl, where the vampires roam and the wolves they howl. If fear consumes you, there's one safe haven, so pull up a chair. It's after dark with Raven. No, get back. I said, get back in there! Sorry, I was just taking care of someone. Something. Welcome to After Dark. As always, I'm your host, Raven. Tonight, we present to you the tale of a cemetery caretaker who has the power of life and death in his hands. Can you imagine? How cool would that be, to have the power of life and death, to decide who lives and who dies? Maybe even bring a few people back. I can think of a few hotties I'd like to resurrect. River Phoenix, James Dean, Ben Affleck. Uh, Raven, Ben Affleck's not dead. Have you seen Surviving Christmas? His career's got more than one foot in the grave. <sighs> well, let's get on with it, shall we? Richard Boone stars in I Bury the Living. You little Jesus blank! Stay in there! Don't make you come in there. I will kill you. Kill you! Richard Boone plays the lead role of Robert Kraft in this, his only horror film. Before I Bury the Living, he was best known for Westerners, especially the old television show, Have Gun, Will Travel. He's also the cousin of Pat Boone, you know, the guy who sings the theme song on the Osbournes. The director, Albert Band, is the father of Charles Band, the 1980s trash king who made crap fests such as Trances, Terror Vision, and Troll. Charles's brother, Richard Band, did the crappy music for such crappy movies as Troll, Bride of Reanimator, and From Beyond. Charles's son, Alex Band, is lead singer of The Calling, who in turn is responsible for such crap songs like Wherever You May Go and Our Lives. So it's just one big crappy family. Get it? Crappy family? Anyway, that's Austrian-born actor Theodore Bakel as Andy McKee, the Scottish caretaker. Boy, Scottish accents aren't easy to do, are they? His is about as convincing as Ben Affleck's Brooklyn accent in Geely. Sort of a cross between Scotty from Star Trek and that lucky charmed leprechaun. Okay. Well, let's hurry up and get back to the movie, shall we? Die! Die! Well, that's the conclusion to I Bury the Living. The original script was a little bit different. The script ends with Kraft locking himself in the caretaker shed, which was surrounded by the walking corpses of all the people he killed. However, they don't attack him or try to break into the shed. They wait outside and call for him to join them. His grief is so great at having caused their deaths that he dies of a heart attack. Well, that's it for this edition of After Dark. Join us again next week for another creepy tale. I Bury the Living? Let's see how it sounds. Thank you.